Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about using Magic Queue to set up scheduled events through the automation window. We can schedule things based on a time of day, a specific date, or a specific day as needed. To get started, we're going to open up Layout 1 here, which is going to open up our clocks we're going to use for this example, as well as the macro window. Scheduled events are built via the macro window. You can open that through the macro button here. And then we'll go to View Automation. In view automation, we need to add a automation line. So we'll go up top and go to insert automation. In our automation line, we're going to tell it under the type that we would like a scheduled event. And the function we'd like to have happen is going to be activate a playback. We're going to activate playback one for this example. Now, once we have this set up, we can use P1 and or P2 to specify when and where things happen. P1 will be used for times, so based off of the system time of either the PC you're using or the console you're using, things can be triggered off of that clock. That's what we're seeing here in the execute screen. Or using P2, we can specify specific days of the week, specific months. We have our clock running down here. These times will be represented in 24 hour times. That's why I have the 24 hour and the 12 hour clock down here, just to show you the example that both. But in P1, we're going to put in a time. So we're at 1543 and 30 seconds right now. If I come in here and we type in 1543 and 45 seconds, we wait another five seconds here till we reach 1543.45. You'll see playback one activates. We get the status here in the state field of the automation screen telling us that it happened and our automation was triggered as expected. If we were to change our trigger back to playback release and change our time to be 15, 44 and 20 seconds in this case, in five seconds here, we should see our playback shut off. There we go. Now timing's represented, as I said, in 24 hour time. For P2, you can use various modifiers and different dates to dictate which day of the month or specific day of the year you'd like to use. If you'd like to know more about this, you can check out section 21.2 in the Magic Q user manual. To give you a little idea though, if we wanted something to happen specifically on the 12th day of January, we could type in 12 slash one slash asterisk as a wildcard. And on the 12th day of January, every year, this automation will get triggered. The date is represented in a UK date format, so it is actually day slash month slash year. So keep that in mind, it is not the US format of month slash day slash year. Alternatively, you can specify which day of the week you'd like to use with an alphabetic arrangement. If you wanted it to fire every Tuesday and Thursday, you would do a B for Tuesday. The, the day starts at A on Monday and works its way through. And you would do, do a D for Thursday. And this would fire this automation every Tuesday and Thursday at 15, 44, and 20 seconds. One note for these automations to trigger, you do need to be out of demo mode. You can leave yourself a note here if you need in the description. And then all of the normal actions are available here within the automation. Hope you find this useful. As always, you can find us at www.campsislighting.com.